Hello everybody, today we're going to be playing with The Boundless Box. Continuing on in our series of shrines here at Teeple's Corner. I'm your host, Travis. And we're doing one Kamigawa shrine at a time. We did uh, Jota in the Shrines. And we recently did White and Red. And now it is Green's turn. Still wondering if I'll go back and do another blue one. We did blue before I decided to do the series. I don't have a lot of creatures, which is abnormal for green. Let's see if we can scare them if they're a red-green wolf deck. Let's show them we're prepared, right? Yep, it's a wolf deck. Unfortunately, They've got a lot of wolves that are just two mana. Like that. And I really can't afford for the pup to get bigger, so we're going to have to take him out now. And they probably don't care. They're just going to keep popping two mana and three mana drops. This is really, really close to just a, an aggro deck at this point. And two Tamiya safe kicking. It's not, not the best thing for me. I missed a land drop. Which is not cool. Look at that. Losing my blocker already. I need a land. Hello? You've emptied most. Do you have a one mana spell you can cast? What happened? The game didn't freeze. You don't usually see them slowing down and waiting when they're this far in the lead. He's looking at basically killing me in one or two turns. Hello? I can't get rid of my four Shrine Stewards. I need those to get my Shrines up to the top of the deck. I thought I needed three Tamiyo Safekeeping just to keep my creatures alive. But the problem with Tamiyo Safekeeping is that it's a one mana drop and it tends to give you one always at the very beginning before you even have creatures. So maybe I need to ditch this, one of these, and get another creature in its place. Did my opponent have to go to the bathroom suddenly? I'm kind of surprised I got a couple of silver bolts in there. You would think that it would steer me away from werewolves because I had an answer for it, but this is such quick and they synergize to pump each other up just like the zombie decks do that having the silver bolts doesn't really seem to matter that much. How often does it look like you're about to get Womp like this and suddenly your opponent ropes you anyway? I wonder if they got disconnected. More exciting Magic the Gathering content for you! Just what we were hoping for. This is very unusual. I bet they did disconnect. Almost every other time I've been roped it's when I'm winning all of a sudden.
that was not the demonstration I was looking for. Okay, I think I need another chump locker, so... What did I get? Tainted Adversary! Sweet! I have at least two of those now. Okay, let's go into the deck. We'll go ahead and show off the deck real quick as I adjust it. Let's see, get rid of one of Tamiyo's safekeepings, and I think I want somebody with Death Touch. Just somebody cheap, like Deathloom Gardener that also gives me mana. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the Boundless box, because of Goshentai of Boundless Vigor, at the beginning of your end step, you may pay one mana. When you do, you put a plus one counter on target shrine. If there's only one shrine out, that's the one that automatically gets the tokens. If I get mirror box, I'll have if I have two of these out, then I can pay one mana for each of them, and I get to put uh, plus two plus two on each target shrine. Uh, I could put that means I could take say one of these and add them to be plus four, plus four, or if I had two free mana, I could put plus two plus two on each of the two. So. All I need is a couple of these and one mirror box and I'm good to go. I got four shrine stewards to help bring out the extra copies of Boundless Vigor so that they're ready to go once I get a mirror box. And I have one copy of Plaza of Heroes which I can exile to make the legendary target creature hexproof and indestructible. So maybe that'll work in, uh, in place of the third Tamiyo safekeeping. I've got a bunch of one drop death touches just for temp blockers to keep me safe for a couple of turns while I get my combo in place. I've got Luxier, Giada's Gift. Um, equipped creature gets plus one plus one for each counter on it. If I do manage to get more than one of those shrines out, uh, this could be a very versatile card. Uh, three silver bolts so I can deal with werewolf decks and it wasn't going well at the beginning <laughs> just now but um, I do need other cards. I do need to hit my land drops. Uh, so we've got Asusa's Many Journeys so if I do have an extra land in play I can play it. Three bite downs that'll synergize with the death touchers, deal damage to target creature planeswalkers, and the death touch will kill them. Uh, one gilded pinions to give any creature flying, so that if they come at me with a flying deck, I have a chance. If they have a uh, graveyard recursion deck, I can exile cards from a graveyard with an uh, unlicensed hearse. I've got bouncers beat down against the mono black decks, uh, deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker, which is equal to the greatest power among creatures I control, and it gets exiled so they can't bring it back. One copy of Broken Wings because Mono White's a thing and they have tons of enchantments or the uh, disgusting artifact decks. Deathbloom Gardener I just added. Gives me a little bit extra ramp. Hexbane Tortoise. If I can't afford to lose Goshentai Boundless Vigor, but it gets to be like 6-6, six, six, uh, but they have Death Touch, I could go ahead and send uh, Hexbane Tortoise, and I'm willing to lose the Tortoise while I keep the Boundless Vigor. A lot of our Green Riddle reach, so another one other choice here against uh, Flying. And if I get enough uh, mana later, I can bring them back. Sheltering Bows, Enchanted Creature. Plus it replaces itself. You draw a card, Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus three. So that's kind of uh, you know the idea that I can turn the 1-1 one, one into a 2-4, and maybe it'll last longer. Brute Suit with Vigilance. Again, since I don't necessarily want to lose these guys, they may not be able to go into direct combat anytime soon, but I could use the Brute Suit to attack, and since it has Vigilance, I could use it the next turn to defend as well. Uh, two copies of Bosiju Reaches Skyward to go get my lands, and I don't know that I should have two copies of Defend the Celestis in here, but I get to distribute more counters among creatures I control, and the four Shrine Stewards to bring the Boundless Vigor up. And uh, one copy of Besiege Who Endures. That's about it. Um, the one change I might make is get rid of one. I think this is already, that was probably a misclick where I added too many of those. So that gives me room for one more Death Toucher, right? Let's get, let's get them in. Let's see, what else do I, oh, let's not look at the deck that way. Here we go. Um, where is, there. Toxic Scorpion, not to my stupid mouse is double clicking all over the place. Alright, let's go back in real quick and we'll just double check. I should have 24 lands. I do. And I got 15 creatures, which is still a little on the light side. But the point is, I'm trying to get 
the shrines to dub love with mirror box. The white deck worked out great. Um, my playtesting on the red deck was horrible, but when I came time to record the video, I actually won three in a row, which surprised the heck out of me. So it's been a fun series. For me to play, anyway. Uh, elf deck? The cool thing is, I actually have a shrine already. That's awesome. I need three to make it hexproof and indestructible. We're not blocking that. We will bring down this puppy. And we'll use bite down. Get rid of the three two now. An enlister. Do they want to trade versus my death toucher? They do! I do not. Yeah, they have a combat trick anyway. But you did that wrong. You should have let them go through and actually hit you first. Oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and equip. Still a 1 1, no attacks. But we get to pay and add a counter. And Luxier gives us an extra plus one. So we're going to get plus two every time for that. Yes. No, no, they, they will call, I'm recording. They will call me when the car is ready. Me calling them does nothing. Alright, sorry for the interruption. Had a phone call. Let's see, what do we want to do? How about the tortoise? We do not attack. We keep mana free so we can pay. It automatically goes on there, and we got a 5 5. So now I need Tamiyo safekeeping, or I just need to keep my uh, four of these free. So let's do that. Let's attack with this puppy. We'll tap there. And it's an 8 2. Give it up. Get rid of you before you get any uh, counters on you. And then we can put down Mirbox. If they had removal, I have to expect they would have used it by now. I've been pushing it. I've been very risky with not keeping this open. What you thinking? Did he just quit because he didn't see a way to uh, a way to win? I'm gonna say yes, just because that's a convenient fact for me. I'm gonna keep going because I didn't get two shrines down with mirror box yet. We'll see how long it takes us. Did 
just one shrine sitting there unopposed for a little while was good enough, actually. We get to go first? I'm so not used to that. Yeah, we're just going to empty our hand. Could start to pay for that if they have haste. I managed to use up my entire hand already. I'm not going to have anything to do for a number of turns. This is right. The good news is the bite down should be good as long as they don't have a board wipe. Come on, put down a creature. I need to use my other spell. Ah. Say goodbye. In eight more turns, you are dead. Was that their only choice for a three mana spell? Draw three. Okay. You go bye bye. Attack of the one ones. You've got to put up a better showing this. I'm going to have to purposefully slow down just to wait until I get to draw my shrines. And that was worthwhile. They tapped out. Say goodbye to that one. And we attack again. Are you sensing a pattern? If nothing else, you got the draw spell, why not use it? Refill your tank. Ooh! That's a nice card. You could cast this one now then, right? If you wanted to. Let's see if this gets through. Do you have a counter spell you can use now? Or is it just this card? Oh, we killed another creature. Sweet! Okay, this will get me the mana I need to cast the Shrine Steward. So now we're starting to cook with gas. Why are you looking at my scorpion? It's my turn. Let me do something here. Thank you. Come on. There. That's what they've been holding on to. Half dead.
Now you draw. Do you have anything that can take out a 1-1 one, one creature in your entire deck? I guess that's what the, uh, I guess that's what his creatures were intended for. There we go, he got one. Ah, good, he left my uh, legendary artifact alone. All right, this puppy comes down. We go get a shrine card. And we're done. His health is going the wrong direction. Who allows these things? Yeah, we'll trade. And he quits. Wait. All I did was put out the shrine. What are you... <sighs> this shouldn't be that devastating of a combo. He had... He had a chance. I wonder how many of those I have now. Alright. Let's go one more time. The shrines aren't so feared that as soon as you just show a shrine, people run shrieking in horror, do they? Okay, this guy shouldn't quit on me. His name's Gristle. He's tough. No shrine, but a steward, which is good enough. Ooh, this could be an aggro deck, though. I might not have time. His life total is greater than mine. He's winning. Okay. So we will risk the gardener. Because I already have enough mana to do Besiege Reaches Skyward. He doesn't mind. So if you don't mind, neither do I. Let's go get some more lands. Shrine Steward to the rescue. Bam. No reason to save on the point of damage. Now we see if they have removal. He's got seven cards, he should. That much black. He should be willing to get rid of my Shrine Steward. And still have something for the creature token after that. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Eaten alive. There we go. And he can still afford to bring it back tapped, too. That's his whole deck right there. <laughs> Specimens and eaten alive. That's how he's going to beat me. Alright. So now... Go Shintai, Mirror Box, Attack, and Pay. Ooh, gross. I'm not sacrificing anybody. You can have the two life.
perfect. Chump blocks! Yay! We got rid of braids. That was gonna be awkward. I'm not paying for that because I need Tamiyo safekeeping. Oh, hang on. I'll just use it now. Thank you, sir. I try. That's all. Wait, you've got seven cards. That's all you can do? What are all these cards? Ah, there's one of them. Okay. He couldn't kick it, though. Perfect. Shrine Steward. Oh, oh, we were so close. We were so close. We were going to get a second Go Shintai. We were going to put it down on the field. He just, I think he was more worried about the 8 8 than anything else. Uh, what were all these cards? Were they just like more you are already dead that he couldn't play? I was so close to showing off the combo. Did we win every match so far? This is an abrupt reversal of how things usually go. Usually when I'm playtesting my deck, um, I do pretty good, and then I turn on the recorder and suddenly I start losing horribly. This time, for these shrines, I've been losing my first few matches, and then uh, I tweak the deck, and then I start recording. And I've been winning. Okay. Forest first, so we don't give anything away. Let's see what they've got. We have Asusa's many journeys. We can put down another lane. Okay, sticky fingers, huh? We're just gonna get rid of you then. This will work. It's pretty cheap. We got three colors and they got them already. Let's go ahead and put down our hearse. Let's make sure they can't get spells back. I don't trust black. Black tends to want to go into the graveyard almost all the time. Those two go away. Interesting choice. Yeah. Fun. Too bad I have this.
Now we attack, make sure, see if they're going to jump block. They're not. So we can afford to put down the Green Widow. And then, we make sure they can't bring back an enchantment for any reason. What are they waiting for so patiently? I'm out of ammo, basically. What am I up to here? Yeah, I guess I just attack with what I got. Is it time to jump block? It is! They get plus three? Gross. Can't do anything about that, can I? And yeah, first strike. Don't usually see that. Oh no. Arcane Bombardment. Let's put this on top, that way I can get rid of it. How's that work? And the cool thing is, since I've been exiling everything, he doesn't have anything to grab from the graveyard. And I don't want to pay, because I want to be able to keep him hexproof. That's going to work out lovely. Alright, that goes down. I'll try and get rid of you. That works. Let's not do anything else except pay. Beef up the shrine. Huh. Sticky fingers, but you can't attack with that. No attacks. Auto pay. Boost up the shrine. Didn't really care about Plaza of Heroes because he's going to take out the 8 8 if anything. Flooding out. It's time to send some people in. That lets them draw some cards. up the shrine and I got enough to protect the shrine anyway if nothing else I've been kind of slow rolling it not really attacking with either of these just because I wanted to get a mirror box and a second shrine out Why 
would you have all this stuff for creatures that are involved with attacking and you only have one defender? They don't have it. They had that creature. Maybe that's what they were counting on getting him out. You've got a line of zero three defenders. Congratulations. This wouldn't be bad for a uh, mill deck, actually, if you could cast a card with casualty. But you need you need somebody with power three, I think, for that. All right, just getting rid of his graveyard, I think, got rid of a lot of his capabilities. He's going to have to chump block almost everything. He's only blocking with two. That kills him. All right, I guess we're not going to get two shrines down at the same time. You're just going to have to take my, my word for it that it's glorious. And I get a card, Fall of Lord Kanda. I think I already had four of those. All right, we'll show you the deck one last time. And so that's the problem when you're doing Jank, where you're relying on really just showcasing one main card and how it works. Sometimes it just doesn't show up all the way. Yeah, I do have four Gloom Shriekers now. Good. All right, but yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, you kind of saw that my my ace in the hole was Besieger Reaches Skyward. A lot of times they just didn't have a way to deal with the token plant creature that came out at the end of the enchantment saga. And I don't know if that's cheating or not, but, you know, basically it's, a, it's the same shrine strategy as always. You know, get out your one shrine, get on a mirror box, bring more shrines out with Shrine Steward, and have duplicate shrines out, and have them uh, synergize off of each other and have the combo pop off. And this was kind of a drawback because I kept winning before I could get the combo in place. But that seems like a terrible thing to complain about. So we will have the deck list down below if you want to try it. And uh, we'll leave it there. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.